tough win, a hard win against Miami last night. The late game execution by you guys, how much of that was a step in the right direction? Oh, it's good. It's good progress. Um, guys made a lot of big plays last night down the stretch. I thought that uh, we executed our game plans and didn't play a perfect game by any means. But, um, you know, when it mattered most, I thought that for the most part, we were in the right place at the right time. And, uh, you know, that's half the battle, just being in the right position. So got some key defensive stops, um, got some opportunistic scores. And obviously the game winner from Danny was just a great execution out of a, out of a double team for Kawhi to pass it to Serge and Serge to the next man. So, um, you know, that's, that's the type of steps that, that you want to be making as a team, you know, going forward. It's a good finish, but that third quarter changed for you guys defensively. You know, they were shooting close to 55% in that first half. That third quarter, you guys got them down to 44%. What transpired? Uh, a little bit more intensity for us, and uh, making some shots helps a little bit, helps the flow of the game. So um, the flow is always messed up when you're not getting any stops and, and you're taking the ball out of the net every time. Um, but once we were able to score and slow them down a little bit, uh, we kind of got the, the momentum back in our favor. And I think, you know, for the most part, we changed a couple of things we were doing, but for the most part, we just dug in a little harder, played a little harder, played a little tougher, and, and fought through, you know, some of the, the fouls and the rust and uh, the sluggishness that, that was holding us back in the first half. Fred, by the time tomorrow's game hits and then your last game against Chicago, you guys have played 38 games before 2019 wow. hits. Wow. Like, does that seem crazy how much has been jammed in almost half your schedule in the first yeah. two and a half months? Yeah, it's uh it's been a grind. It's been a grind, you know, playing every other day for for two, three months now. Um, but that's the NBA, we're professionals. Um, you gotta go out there and be prepared and do the things necessary to, to play at a high level night in and night out. Um, the good news is maybe it'll slow down a little bit towards the towards the end of the year, but um, all in all, you know, we're just we're just grateful to, to be in this position and go out there and lace them up every night. You know, to that point, then I guess it's essentially like the same amount or close to the same amount of games. Yeah, in three and a half months right. close of the year, and right. you guys don't even go to the West Coast. Yeah, long, but yeah, that's been uh, two years in a row. I think it's been like that where we've got our West Coast stuff out of the way early, and you know, kind of get our legs underneath you. You don't really uh, have time to really think about how much traveling you've done, and you know, but. Um, most teams still have to go do the West Coast trip. So yeah. that, that helped us last year in the standings where, you know, we were in good shape for most of the year. And then the guys at the top with us there had to go do their West Coast trip at the mm -hmm. at the tail end of the year. And, and you deal with different things doing that. So you know, hopefully those guys stumble a little bit uh, this year as well. 13 wins on the road, 13 wins at home. What has made you guys so successful being balanced no matter where you are? Yeah, we got a good team. I don't, there's no rocket science here. Just got a good team, good players, good coaching staff, and uh, a lot of veterans and experienced guys who have been through it and some talented young players. And you go out there and try to be tough and uh, you know play at a high level each night. So uh, we've been good. We've got to continue to do that. Um, obviously, almost halfway through now. Uh, we just got to keep going, going forward and, and going upward. And he obviously, you guys had a pretty good finish to the game last night when resulting yeah. in a win. But what clicked for you guys down the stretch? Obviously, your big shot, but defensively, you guys made some pretty good decisions late in the game. Um, we got them to miss some. They made some shots in that stretch too, um, but we got them to miss some shots in the second half more so than than anything in that last two minutes. Uh, third quarter, I think, was where we made our, our run and cut the lead and came back. Um, eventually, we knew the worm would turn, but we continued to scramble, talk to each other. We played a little bit of zone. The coach went to that. It usually doesn't work that well for us, but it did for quite a bit, and it got us back in the, in the, in the game. You know, where they were kind of confused of how to run their offense, and so they started missing some shots. They were hot in the first half. They hit a lot of shots. You mentioned the third quarter where things kind of changed. What was so different about the approach coming out of the locker room? Because in the first half, Miami shot almost 55 percent. So what changed out of the locker room? Well, we were getting our ass kicked, man. So you know, we we knew it, it wasn't a. a it wasn't a secret. It was pretty obvious to, to us, the world, and everybody around us. We knew we had to come out and, and play better, fight. So we were just continuing to fight and try to fight harder and try to get back in the game because we knew if we didn't, we would get embarrassed. But, uh, you know, we did. And so luckily, regardless, we didn't, I don't think it was a big change. I think they just missed some more. We made some more shots. They missed some more shots. That helped a ton. But so us having that chippy edge and coming in with a little more intensity and fighting a little bit harder uh, uh, definitely helped them miss some shots. Hey, Danny, how aware are you of late game situations? Not uh, just I in mean, terms of what? Well, we saw a stat the other uh, yesterday. About I don't think about last, stats. And, yeah. No, you're, in the last 10 years, you've got as many yeah. go-ahead shots. I'd rather not hear about the stats. Okay, but I'm just but, saying, um, what, what, 
what hones your focus late in the game? I mean, it depends on time and situation. Obviously, if we're, we're winning, regardless if we're winning or losing, um, but if we're winning, obviously, we want to take care of the ball and get good shots. Um, if we're losing, we got to make some plays happen, uh, regardless of who that may be. And, you know, it might be, have to be me. And it doesn't mean you have to make a shot. It might be just making a play, whether it's defensive stop, a steal, a block, or a transition push and, and finding the guy in the corner. Um, so in that t- t- ex- those situations, um, you have to figure it out. And, you know, when you're down or even it's close, you want to be able to step up and, and make those plays, whether it's in the last 30 seconds or the last two minutes, every possession, you know, is very meaningful. By the time you guys play Orlando, then Chicago, you'll play 38 games mm-hmm. in two and a half months, basically half your schedule. Mm-hmm. Has it seemed like that kind of grind where it's been? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it seems like we're about halfway through. Um, play a ton of games, especially instead of I've missed one um, so far. Hopefully don't miss any more. But, yeah, it seems as if we've played quite a few games, and I think we're a couple games ahead of most teams in the league, it seems as or if not even. But we, we played um, a ton of games and grinded it out, and these guys are really – Hounding me right now to get off to get out this interview right now, but because um, these guys are tired, beat up, banged up, we had some injuries. So um, hopefully we can get through this halfway point and get everybody back healthy. Last one for you. How much does that set you up then for the second half, where you have the same amount of games essentially in three and a half months? Hopefully no great. West Coast travel, hopefully you know, like. great. Um, it'd be great to get some some legs under us. Uh, be at home, play play home court advantage a little bit, and you know have a little pace, you know spread out schedule. Um, but you never know. So we, we still got to get back healthy. We still got to focus. And we still got to play the games. Um, but it's better to probably play the, the major majority hard schedule early on, I think, when you're fresh than it is later on uh, in the year, if I had to choose. Coach, one of those physical, hard-fought games last night for the squad, um, the execution down the stretch went the way you guys wanted it to. What did you like about what you saw on both sides of the floor? I just I liked the way that we played in the second half. And you're right, that team came in. You know, Miami had won five straight, and they are playing hard and, and physical, and they've been a, a very good rebounding team, you know, all year, and especially during the last five, six, seven games. So I just thought we were we were physical. You know, we out-rebounded them. We, we were good on the glass, and, and we got stops when we needed them. That third quarter was very different than the first half for you guys from a defensive perspective. What changed coming out of halftime in terms of how you guys approached it from the defensive side and then offensively you really got some things going yeah well you know all year our defense has created our offense you know we need those fast break points those transition buckets when we get deflections when we get the you know the one stop and done so i I just think coming out of the locker room you know our guys you know they they impacted the ball more they played they played more physical than they did in the first half and 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 that was a difference you still got half a season to go. I appreciate you got to mm-hmm. play the games. Yep. But by the time the calendar flips to 2019, you've played 38 games. Mm-hmm. How crazy is that to think about half a season and two and a half months and how busy it's been and how much of a grind it's been? Yeah, you know, it goes quickly, and it goes quickly for everybody. I mean, it's game, practice, game, game, travel. So, you know, everybody's, you know, playing that schedule. And, and, and at this time of year, we're getting stronger. You know, we're getting our bodies back. We're getting more healthy as, as the days go on, and, and that's the focus. And, and you can continue to learn from every game that we play, and, and that's what we did today. We, we learned from last night's game, and, and we get ready for the next one here in Orlando. Nate, you guys have always, Nick's always talked about finding chemistry and figuring things out. Mm-hmm. It's sometimes tough to do with all of the variables late in the game. It looked mm-hmm. like last night you guys figured some stuff out in terms of offense and defense mm-hmm. in your late game execution. True or false? Yeah, yeah very true. I mean, you, you saw some, some nice things late in the game. I think it was even from the little things like screening. Yeah. You know, Serge Ibaka had a couple nice screens. Uh, he made the extra pass. We, we found the open man. You know, defensively, we were talking, and, and that's what it's about. There's going to be a number of guys on our team that step into those late game situations, and, and our guys are ready. Oh, 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 oh,